guys and welcome back it's Elena Apple. For today's video here I'm going to show you how to fix Rainbow Six Siege server connection error. So if you're interested, let's get started. So how do you exactly fix this issue? Well first things first is that we want to uh, access a few things. So we, first is we want to access your CMD. So go to search here, just type in CMD and open up command prompt, right click on it, just click on run as administrator. Click on yes if it requires further permissions, but once this is actually allowed, this is what you'll be seeing. Now what we need to do is we need to use the following uh co um this case uh commands which first is going to be ipconfig flush dns so you could go and just uh type it in here so i'm just going to paste it in here just press and enter it's going to say ip uh, uh, windows ip configuration uh, successfully finished flushed and we want to also use that as hwinsock reset and in this case, going to say successfully reset the windsock kind of. Now it will ask you to restart your uh, PC in order for the effects to take effect. So don't do that yet. So what we need to do next is we want to change a few things. So next thing you want to do is you want to go to your firewall. So go to the search here. Just type in firewall, and you want to choose the option here that says allow an app through Windows firewall. Now all we need to do is we need to search for a six siege here and you just need to make sure that you allow both the um, private and public option here uh, for it to uh, be enabled. So click on change settings here, look for Rainbow Six Siege, just make sure to allow them. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and click on OK to save your changes. But once you've done that, next thing you want to do is you want to change your DNS uh, your DNS settings. So at the bottom left, you want to go ahead and just type in control panel, open up, open it up. And you want to go to your network internet. You want to choose network sharing center. And you want to go to your internet or your current connection if you're using Wi Fi. So go ahead and choose this one. Click on properties. And you want to go to IPv4 or internet pro uh, protocol version 4. Click on properties. And you want to go and choose the user following DNS server address, which in this case is going to be 8.8.8.8. .8 it's going to be 8.8.4.4 for the elder DNS server. Once you've done that, click, go ahead and click on OK. Click on Close. Click on Close. And finally, the last thing that you do here is you could go ahead and go to the bottom left here. Just type in Reset Network. Oh, sorry. You just need to type in the following, which is going to be Network Reset. Go and choose this one. Click on Reset Now. Restart your PC. And from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe. See you later. Thank you for watching.